Hello everyone, this is the Nameless One, and tonight we will be continuing the Heart of Darkness campaign. I have here with me tonight... I uh, frantically switch over to look at the list. Cameo, Cold, Ice, Lone, Nez, and Yoshi. Wind will not be joining us tonight. Um, Lone, you keep hot mic -ing. Before we get actually coming through, right? Um, it, it sounds like you have a fan on? Question mark. <coughs> dog. Bush dude, dog. Bush dude, dog. Um, I would like to remind everybody that is joining us. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell, follow on Twitch, all that good stuff. Um. Do definitely be sure to follow us on Twitch, though, because we are trying to make our way to the, the thousand subscribers mark, or followers, or whatever it's called. The thing where you just have to click a button without paying anything. I think that's follows, yeah. Yeah. We, we gotta make it to a thousand for the affiliate for that one, to my understanding. <laughs> you know, Twitch bro, I don't know those things. But uh, other than that, there will be links in the description to further support the channel. And more about that at the end. Who would like to do the recap? Because we got a couple people that haven't been here for a session or two. Or eight. Yeah, I suppose. Or about like a million. That's anyway. Uh, well, <laughs> you showed up last section, but like, when was the last time you joined one of these before then? Anyway, last yep. session we finally defeated the level 17. 19. The CR 19. 19, even worse. Motherfucker that was sent after us because, um,. Yafi rolled a bad dice. Technically, it wasn't a bad dice. It was a dice that let him see a, an important thing of the future, but it will send after you something that will be equal to the to the number you rolled. Uh, yeah. So, um, uh, dude dragged us. Into, yeah, the enemy dragged us into his freaking hometown. And we fucked him up there, and got sent back. Pretty sure you got your asses beat it, beaten pretty handily. Yes. <laughs> Coral went right back to sleep once getting back. Coral did not give a fuck. But, um, Biafi was kind of poo-brained. We also met a new player on the other side mm -hmm. but he has ties with um plague heart meaning and, and it was kind of implied that the dude's been dead and dead for a while doesn't even have yeah. oh god damn uh, doesn't even have memories Sad. <laughs> yeah Um, we started gathering up the peoples, and we headed uh, to the place, back to the inn, so that we may rest and talk about stuff. Yes, Kindle is very interested in what the hell is going on. Okay. And you were very happy about finding a bush. <laughs> yeah, there, very, there was that very happy. Yes, we, we looked around for a bush. We found one, finally. After how Kindle long? Has no idea why we want a bush. No, I, 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 had, I gave the bush pets. <laughs> <laughs> the bush seemed unamused. Bush does not respond to your affections. 
That that sentence. The bush was what unamused. <laughs> By the way, did I get the uh, music fixed for y'all? Oh, uh, I yeah. think so. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. A little quieter than normal, but otherwise fine. Not sure why it's quieter, but okay. We'll roll with it. Oh, I, I could also do that. But... Anywho, you guys decided to head back to the inn, which is what you should all be looking at, right? Mm-hmm. I think we're all on. And I believe wind gets executed to morning. At some point during the next day, yes. So, uh, come on, guys. Let's go inside to our rooms and not discuss things out in the world of open. <laughs> Again. 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 Should have learned our lesson by now. We just want to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Love how I just exist here in this room now. I'm just here. Oh, it's just a bad dream. Does it have the collision with walls thing on? Hold on. Uh, no, we don't. We don't have a grid right now, so I don't think it does that. Yeah, no, it doesn't. does not appear that it appears you're correct because it does not seem to be giving me the option to uh, make walls walls at least not here oh my goodness <laughs> No. Anywho, you guys taking a long rest? Uh, we don't have time for a long rest. I think we're gonna short rest. Oh. Anyone, anyone want to disagree with that? Or well, first of all, Kendall wants an explanation of what is going on. You've been uh, yes. pussyfooting around the subject. He wants to know what's going on. <laughs> Uh, is anyone else going to enter the room with us? Or is it <laughs> <laughs> well, Apparently uh, not. Well, seeing as uh, uh, me and uh, Phoenix are the only ones in the room. Uh, yeah, basically, we're in a uh, dread realm. It's like a uh, dread uh, Nightmare, but real, and in this in this one, uh, Nightmare Moon is queen, I think, and anyone who likes Celestia is a traitor and gets executed for treason. And one of our friends is to be executed tomorrow, and. Basically, we were in the middle of a jailbreak, but then uh, we got summoned to fight a demon, and we're all hurt now, and then you showed up, so... Now we're, now we're gonna rest up and then go again. Okay, so you trying to stop this execution. Who the fuck's Nightmare Man? I shrug. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you know Biafi? Uh, no, I don't believe we've met. I'm Kendall. Well, it's good to meet you, Kendall. I'm Biafi Bromson. I uh, have been made the leader of this party, actually. I'm sorry I didn't get to meet you earlier. And I thank you very kindly. I uh, assume that you were there helping them with the, the Balor. Is that correct? Yeah, sounds about right. 
<sighs> well, seeing as how it was my fault that we were chased by that monster in the first place, I appreciate the assistance. Eh, that's what I was called here for. Anyway, I only heard the last bit of that, but I think as far as I could tell, it was alright. And, anyway, what exactly are we planning on doing now? Are you going to take a moment to rest, or do you need to take longer? Or how, how is everyone doing right now? I'm a bit beat up, but... What's this about the jailbreak? How are you guys planning on approaching this? Uh, I've, I've, I've got a spell. I can, tra I can t transport all of us out. Uh, the second we get to that bush, I, I, that, that's why, that's why we were looking for a bush. So, uh, the plan is get in, get to bush, leave. <laughs> oh, and we also have to rescue the denizen of this dread realm, who is also somewhere in the prison. I I know where they both are bodily, perhaps, unless they've been moved. Hmm. This is the first time I've been told about another person. Who exactly is this? I don't believe you guys ever actually learned her name. No. She just Sorry, looks yeah. important. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about, Luna? Yes. Okay. But they don't know that's what she is, or who that is. So I definitely don't. Okay. Uh, I guess in theory, my character heard about Nightmare Moon's return, but uh, she was never reformed, so I would have I would have even less to know about Luna. <laughs> Oh. And uh, Phoenix somewhat predates. Yeah. <clears throat> huh. Okay. Well, sounds interesting. As for resting, I. If we can do the jailbreak cleanly. I think we'd be fine as is, but if things go south, we might need some rest before we have a chance. Yeah, Kindle kind of leans back in the chair. My experience, nothing goes to plan. I don't remember why I know that, I just know that. My experience, well, I have no experience. <laughs> In my experience, which I don't actually remember. <laughs> well, you did get brought here by Playcard, so I think that's a good. I'm brought here by Playcard. I didn't get that part. Uh, I, 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 I just, I just want to go double back to that. Uh, in my experience, uh, a plan works out perfectly zero out of zero times. <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. One hundred percent of the time, it works. None of the time. <laughs> Anything that thing about Blake Hart, he's the one who dropped me off here. Well, more like he dropped me off fighting the demon and, well, basically told me I'm supposed to follow you guys and help you with whatever you're doing. Since you appear to be the party leader, I guess I'm at your disposal. Well, my help is always appreciated. <laughs> what even are we doing? I, I know we gotta save Wind, uh, that uh, Alicorn thing, but like, hey. what, what are we even doing in the Dread Realms in the first place? I, I don't think anyone ever told me. Well, the whole point of these Dread Realms, as a matter of fact, the thing I found out as a result of summoning that monster, is these Dread Realms are a way for the Silent King to feed himself, to keep himself sustained. He, take, he puts people in these red realms, and then, as they're in there, he sort of siphons off their magical energies. It's like... It's like a straw, almost, in, in a drink. But people who are very powerful, like... Uh, just, uh, 
It was that uh, that one purple one. I don't remember her name though. People like that. That kind of power keeps him sustained for a while. So we're going along breaking as many people out. One, because it's terrible being in them in the first place. But second, so that we can weaken him. That's our ultimate goal, is to defeat him somehow. At least that's what Shadowfire told me. It's the second time that name's come up. Who exactly is Shadowfire? I'm not exactly the best person to explain him, but he's he's the one who set us on this path to begin with. He's the one who made me party leader and made the party leader before me party leader. And anyway, he's sort of our sponsor, you might say, or our our head, maybe. Your patron. Something like that. All right. All right, well, I appreciate the explanation. Uh, please keep me informed on everything else going on, because uh, I'm not exactly the patient type. So you kind of need to keep with me a reason not to just go wandering off. Oh god, not another one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will do it within reason. But, you got a problem. I'm here to help you with that problem. Well, right now, our goal is to get our friend out of there, and also save the person who's the dread lord of this place. That's the person who's being safe and off of in this place. To do that, we've got to break in and out. We've got the out, and what was our in again? I don't remember. Uh, I believe Phoenix, it involved an, a jug of endless decanter, uh, some water-breathing spells, and a bag of holding. Kendall kind of raises an eyebrow. <laughs> Sounds like one hell of a plan. Just one we can come up with. Meh. I'm whatever. You got a plan? I can work with whatever you give me. It condenses right. the party's cross-section to a small little bag and a rat, or something like that. I don't know what our druid is planning on turning into. I mean, a rat or a wizard or something. Nah. Nah. Well, now that we got the explanation, I believe he said he's getting executed in the morning. Sometime tomorrow. Mm. As much as I'd like to sleep through the night and get all healed up and rested, I think can't help but shake the feeling that we need to move pretty soon. I don't doubt that. Could definitely use the rest. I mean, that demon did hit pretty damn hard, but... I'll follow your lead. I mean, feeling certainly isn't much of an issue. I it's sort of my specialty. I think perhaps we can take one hour's worth of rest, maybe. Much appreciate that. Does everyone else agree? Yeah, I'm, I'm good at that. I think it's a good uh, compromise. Uh, All right. Well, it is West Portal. I. I know I kind of blacked out there for a while. That moment of, is she still alive? Where is she? <laughs> um. <clears throat> yeah, that's a good question. Okay, well, if I could get my character sheet... All our bad babysitters. If I could get my character sheet to actually turn on... <laughs> I can actually see what it does. It'd be great. I just had a theory. And I don't want to say it out loud in front of Nameless. Oh, why not? <laughs> because he'll make it real. 
You don't know that. I do know that because it would make our lives so much harder. <laughs> ah yes, don't give the DM ideas logic. <laughs> yeah. I don't make everything you guys suggest to me into something that makes your lives harder. Just mostly Immediately in that campaign. Just most things. <laughs> Alright, so I take it we're doing the short rest, plus whatever healing? Mm -hmm. First, I'm gonna go find Coral. Gotta track it down. Uh... I think she's in one of the rooms. It's so weird, and I broke in there and there's just a pair of legs. <laughs> Leg. <laughs> Peek my head in there, just, well, you're right. Coral is currently snoring. <laughs> I'm gonna gently pick up Coral and bring her into the big room, because my thing isn't gonna work if everybody's spread apart. Side note, Coral hasn't snored in their sleep before this. Are they snoring now? Yeah. They are currently snoring. Gently put her on a bed. <sighs> Alright. And then we make the short rest. I will do the song of rest that I have. Nice. Uh, so what does that do again? Roll, if you're rolling hit dice to regain health, you gain... I I can't tell. I'm pretty sure I'm at 17. Am I? Yeah, I'm at 17. A d12. An additional d12. Okay. Not much, but a little bit more. Alright, uh, explain that to me. This is the first time I've done short rest. Uh, short rest. So, uh, you have a number of hit dice equal to every level yeah. you have in a class. Multi-class okay. might have uh, different yeah. sizes of dice. Right. Yeah. But since we're probably just going to have one short rest, you can just burn all of them. So for a barbarian, I believe that would be what? That would be d12. d12. Yeah, that would be 17 d12, d12 plus uh, your mo your uh, con mod times uh, the same number of hit dice. All right. Thank also, you get an extra d12 from the short song of rest. Okay. I've... Give me just a sec while I. Going through all these. Plus your con mod plus the D12. Yeah. Uh, whoops. I'm not using all of my hit dice. I need to make a quick calculation. Uh. If I can Ooh. actually plug the damn Don't thing. Don't be mean. I need that money. I'm gonna this character seat will actually look. You know what? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and roll all of them. So that'd be. Slash ours. You guys are. Uh, I think I'm good now. Doing that, I am going to continue prepping other maps. Okay, I'm fully healed. I'm happy. <laughs> just I, I, I that really one appeals me up from 188. Why me? God, I did need a lot of health to begin with, so that helps. Good. I was at like 20, but that fully healed. Okay. Why didn't you get the plus 68? Um, not sure, but either way, I'm at full health. Oh yeah, how much do we get from the Song of Rest? One D12. It's not much, but it's a little bit more. Oh, an additional D12. Yep. Theoretically, that would be a lot more useful if we were taking multiple short rests. Yeah. But we really don't take a lot of short rests because we usually have a lot of time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, in that particular case... Usually not very good. 
yeah, yeah. in that particular yeah. case, I'll use 16 of my 17 because 1d12, same thing. I mean, I don't think you can choose Fair not. Enough. No, you can. Uh, you can. choose how many you want. No, I'm, I'm just use. saying, like, like you can use however many you want, but I don't think you can choose after. But yeah. Famous. Niz would be correct. Alright. Yes. Excuse me. If you had 12 Please. missing and you rolled two of them and rolled right, two listen. swells. Right, listen, which one of you guys is the trumpet in the background? What the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> Allergies. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> For once, it's not me making the trumpet noises. I have to get it in while the getting's good. Okay. Dude, what is up with my character sheet, dude? Alright, I have to just reload. Roll 20, clearly. Well, my rolls suck today. Do this to me. You guys ready to get started? Uh, no, I still have to see if my character sheet is actually going to open up. Let me I look at your. Re- I had to completely re-roll, reload uh, roll twenty because it was messing up. Working for me. Yeah, it's just taking five years to open. But it definitely should. There we go. Okay. Ready to go. At last. Is that really the first one we've done for a short race? It's the first as, one since as, I've as done, I know, for yeah. sure. As far as I know, that is the first short list. <laughs> if you go to one, it's been a long list, because why not? Most of the time, when you're safe enough to do a short rest, you're also safe enough to do a long rest. Mm-hmm. It doesn't come up often. Mm-hmm. For whatever I might, reason. I might start doing the, the, uh, the more realistic rest rules, where like uh, eight eight hours for the, uh, the regular short rest, and then a long rest is a week. Yeah. That just sounds painful, but... Shut up, kidding. That is especially painful given how often we do end up having back to back fights. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'd be bad for the spellcasters, definitely. Yeah, the moment yeah, really we get bad back for the, the mist, we're just in the next red realm. Can you imagine if when we were still in the mazes, we took a week to just rest between floors? <laughs> <laughs> just, just like sleep thumping around in the next maze. Just like, oh. yeah. See, in an instance <laughs> like that, it's going to turn into like essentially running a marathon but for the instances like this one you have more time with the exception of you know when getting himself captured as a traitor and then found out as a vampire yeah yeah that that did happen <laughs> uh I, I i specifically don't mention the vampire part when i earlier when i give the explanation <laughs> Yeah, nobody has told me that. As far as I know, I do not know he's a vampire. Yeah. Low priority details. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> not at. It, 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 it's like <laughs> you agree, but like I feel like he should, he shouldn't know that we're trying to rescue a vampire because that will lower his like like his desire to help us. Well, I have been explicitly ordered to help you guys by an alicorn. 
Yeah, and I'm gonna do what I'm death, told. By the way, yeah, God of Death. I just, yeah, I mean, I I'm not saying it either because there's no reason to talk about it now. But yeah. Anywho, everybody good? Everyone's All good. Right. We're ready to go. Yeah. Lone's over there with his sure. head in the door. You good? Appears to have perished. Oh wait! Oh wait! Kindle. Before we go, uh, is anyone yeah. not fully healed? Yeah, if anybody's I mean, not fully healed, I'm shy a few hit points, but basically full. I've got yeah a few hit it, points down just because I haven't used all my thing. I I could cast good berry. That are you guys gonna like explain the plan to the two players that haven't heard it yet? Yeah, yeah, let's let's hear this play. We do that Three players. Well, they did do it earlier, though. Yeah. Okay. Not well, a good and... detail job. Don't worry, I'll figure it out on the way there. Yeah. No, don't <laughs> worry. Uh, those are all the details that we already had. We can discuss while uh, breathing out of a jug of decanter in the sack. I I I can't <laughs> grab endless water. By the way, uh, I'm the not reason sure why I was wondering if you're gonna like. <laughs> um, I do have a quick just question just... though, because we've been over this before. There is no air inside of a. Uh, no, there a is. Bag of holding. It's not a lot. Yeah, it's about it does have ten limit. minutes worth. Yeah, that's where the jug it doesn't... of water breathing comes in. <laughs> you... Yeah, that's that's the plan. <laughs> so, I mean. The problem with the decanter of endless water is it's not bottomless. Like I, you, I could like turn it over and it's like empty. It's it's that you have to speak command words at it and then it conjures water and depending on which word it conjures a different amount of water. So if you're just trying to breathe out of this thing, you're gonna have like a very small amount of water to breathe in, out of, unless you're just shooting it out of the bag. In which case, there's this like tiny rat just gushing out like a river of water. <laughs> <laughs> into the end, into the bag of holding. Because this is a, not at all the plan that I remember you guys coming up with. Yeah, this was not. This the plan. is why I wanted to, to flood the entire bag with <laughs> more water. I mean, I've got water skins. We could fill those and just refill them with the jug. That should I mean, work better, maybe. Yeah, but, but, but where's I the mean, water going to go after you're done breathing it? Into the bag of holding. <laughs> Whose bag of holding is this? <laughs> I think it's Phoenix's. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to... to the gaseous form spells and the bottles? Yeah, I mean, a lot changed since the last time I was here at Teen Nails. <laughs> uh, they they, they changed the up on me, I don't even know. <laughs> I have many questions. Tanya's been here this whole time and still doesn't <laughs> understand where this plan came from. I feel like we had a plan, and then suddenly the plan changed out of nowhere, and now we just have no plan. I like, think we might not have enough spellcasters to make the gaseous form work. Yeah, and also we ha we have a perfectly good bag of holding. You could do both, but okay. And then there's the issue of trying to breathe inside of a like cider, <laughs> like a beer. Quick question: How long is it going to take us? To get from place to place using the bag of holding. Yeah. As as What's y'all's plans on that? I mean, I I can I can go pretty fast. Not Still I'll haven't be quite it. worked out where they're being held though, so it could I mean, be faster. Do I remember where it is? Or do I not have a You remember good idea how to get to the dungeon. But if they've been moved and it also takes about fifteen minutes to get to the dungeon, especially if not you're trying enough. to be stealthy. Because remember you're trying to sneak past guards. Mm -hmm. And I believe we also discounted the bag of holding plan because we don't know what should happen with it with it. the uh, wild shape. Uh, 
I feel like that's why you discounted the uh, bottle, because you were like, hey, uh, it was like, uh, sure, all my equipment goes with me, but then we ruled that all of their, like, gaseous forms would just be ejected out of the bottle. Yeah. Which is and why bag of case, And then the plan I mean, was going case, to be something then... else. Like, it wasn't... Oh, I mean... Yeah, that's when we switched the bag of holding, because technically I mean, the inside yeah, of a bag of holding is a pocket dimension. I mean, the so. idea of it would be that you would get into the bag of holding, and then you would pick up the bag of holding after you wild shape. Yeah. I just... I mean... But it's I all going don't. on! I'm so far out of the What did I change rooms? Even if you go with the idea that the bag of holding is like standard backpack size, what if, like, because most bag of holdings are not, like, they're like a like a, a decent sized handbag size. Yeah, it's like a pouch, yeah. Uh, I believe they weigh like twenty pounds. They're like not light, but like also, why wouldn't I just be able to wild shape with the bag of holding? Yeah, I think the wild shape description says like all of your items like fuse with your new form. Exactly. And we don't have the problem of uh, you guys being an item in my inventory because, again, the contents of a bag of holding is, are in a pocket dimension. So I, I feel like, if anything, the, the mouth of the bag would just be closed and you'd just be stuck there for, until I turn back. It's fine, Which... I can hold my breath for a while. Be funny if he dies in his wild shaped form and then we're just stuck in the bag forever. I mean, if I run out of the leave it out. Like, no. Yeah, the, it's just funny you should mention that, by the way, because I'm, I'm wondering just how much uh, the, the order nameless knows now in his plan. The other thing what? that I'm going to point out is I believe that 10 minute estimate is for one person. It, yeah, you yeah I think it gets that. divided by the number of people. Which is one, two, three, four, five people. So yeah, I wouldn't have enough time. That's roughly about, what, two minutes away? Does it better to just send in a group <laughs> in and a group on the outside? I remember the plan being that uh, somebody was going to use like an illusion or something to look like somebody else and then travel with the bottles of gaseous people. I mean, well, that, that's what I remember what you guys Nightmare came to. Nightmare Moon is likely to see through. Nightmare Moon, yes. But you don't know about any of the others. Yeah. Which reminds me, Nameless, when I... While we were in the library, I cast Major Illusion on one of the pages that I was reading to see... One, to keep my place, and two, to see if it would actually even work, or if the magic would even would be dispelled in the area. I believe that's the point that you started hallucinating, though. Yeah, it was right about then. It was after I'd cast it, though. Just like right after the. Uh... <laughs> yeah, there was no plan to begin. I yeah, said no, that feels was very right accurate. after the. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was right after the festival hallucination, but before the Balor showed up. Okay, question. What the hell was your exit plan? Because I think you said something about the exit plan. The exit plan is the most solid plan that they've had so far. <laughs> we get yeah, to the bush it's... and we leave. Yeah, we we go through the bush. Using, uh... And because the DM the likes point. the series so much, we're going with the tree portal version rather than just the one-by-one one thing or wait, whatever wait, wait, it question is. Question. Someone explain the plan to me again. God, nobody knows. In, no, in, in detail, in detail, please. <laughs> the plan is just to fucking cause a riot and die at this point. That's what the hell <laughs> is. You're going to die. Okay, okay. So we don't know where he is. This is what I'm hearing, right? <laughs> we are making. I don't even a... want to get him. We saw. We talked to him in prison. We know we saw him. I don't him. care. I don't want him here anyway. Oh my gosh. Does anyone have like any item of his? I can't remember if we do. We have a bag of holding. <laughs> That's, That's not, not his. his. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, no, the thing on. is, I already know who he is, so I could. Oh my gosh, I could just cast Locate Creature. This would be so much easier. You can't tell me a horse isn't a creature. I have to cast <laughs> Locate Creature too. I'm not gonna waste Actually, it on you. Actually, Locate Creature will work. Yeah, I'm about to say. <laughs> I, like, I would have lost it if it no. didn't. Anybody got a dimension bar? <laughs> As a matter of fact, yes. You trying to convince me to use it? <laughs> Give me a distance well, in meters and a direction, and I could tell us directly, teleport us directly there. Okay. Give me exact coordinates based on latitude and longitude, and also depth, please. <laughs> Don't worry. We've. I think. I think between. Uh, I think between Phoenix, myself, and I guess also alone, we have enough charges of dimension door to get a. Oh, I on. don't have dimension door. I didn't take it because I didn't. I don't have dimension door. I just have teleport. Oh. I have Misty I have Dimension Door. <laughs> I, I have Transport via Plants. We can leave at least. Here's I Phoenix. can get in and out Listen, with I, one person. I have every utility spell known to man. Well, known to Pwn. We don't have Dimension <laughs> Door. Oh my gosh, sorry. Sleep ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Detect Magic, Misty Step, Knock, Silence, Counterspell, Sending. Sorry, that's all that, all that? Not Dimension Door, doesn't matter. <laughs> So, uh, Greater invisibility. So anyway, what's with the dimension door question? What's your uh, idea? Sick and possibly teleport in, and unfortunately it sounds like using your exit strategy to get in, it's not going to work. Well, I can teleport in myself, and I can bring back one person at a time. I don't know if that'll be fast enough, but... I can, at least I can get do you better with one. nine people. Mm, that might be... Well, can you do it a second time? How many times can you do that? I can do it a second time if I don't have to do any more advanced magic while we're there. Okay. What then do we'll you... have to just try and do it fast. I believe. Ice, what are you referencing? Uh, teleport. I believe that when you have to have a permanent circle on the other end. No. Um, no. That's the, the way you do it without any risk. Ah, okay. Yep. Send me the spell. I want to take a look at what uh, what the other side of it looks like. Uh, By the way, apparently, table. apparently I'm supposed to uh, give you two places with teleport circles, and uh, you have them, but you don't know where they are. So. Wait, what? I, I've seen something on this spell, and apparently the, the DM is supposed to give you two. So, you you have two teleportation circles, but you don't know where they land you. Realistically, they would both be in an Egypt or something like that. Yeah, yeah, but that's not going to help you out <laughs> because this is not a cross-dimensional teleport. So technically, you have four. Yeah. But <laughs> so here's the thing with uh, with teleport. If you have an object of the person where there's a circle, you can always get there without a problem. If you're very familiar with them, there's a slight chance of something going terribly wrong. Where is this And that table? slight chance gets larger and larger the more you don't know about the person or the place you're trying to go to. Right. You can either go somewhere completely insane and not get anywhere even close or get damaged. You can get somewhere that's similar, you can get kind of um, close, or you can get right there. That's basically what it is. Hold on. Somebody get me the, uh, get me that table. Mm -hmm. Table in the chat. chat. Okay. Trying to remember somewhere, because I know somewhere it says you can be, like, ten feet in that direction to, like, get past a door or something. I don't know where that is in this massive spell description, though. Uh, yeah. They, <laughs> um, weren't we working under the assumption... Anywhere on the same plane of existence, so... Weren't we working under the assumption before that uh, they would have, like, anti-magic, like, preventing teleports and stuff? Ah, don't worry just about like... it. <laughs> <laughs> well, how heavily guarded is this place? I'm assuming it's a jail of some sort. <laughs> It's guarded enough to have a vampire held down, so like lots and lots of 
bullshit. Admittedly, that's not as impressive as if they had a lich. Because a, a vampire, especially at the level of which he would be... It, it's basically just a dude with super strength and can bite people to eat. That, that's basically what he boils down to. <laughs> we also went down to the prison and saw all the guards. Or at least some of them. We know it's decently well guarded. I... I will say that if you use teleport, this is going to be very risky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like how right. false destination just goes straight to 50 50. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's not even 50 50 because uh, this area just is similar. It's not even close. The only good thing about it is you don't take damage immediately. <laughs> One thing I'm curious about is if a Dread Realm counts as a dimension. It, like, it could just send us like to a different Dread Realm. For all like, intents and purposes, is they are a dem demi plane. Okay. <clears throat> that at least reduces some of the risk. Yeah. Kind of looking through the spell. What's this about a spell circle? That's if you want basically no risk. That's a... He asked in character, by yeah. the way. It's like a sigil or something, right? Okay. Anybody know how to write one? Uh, I do, uh, but I'd have to be there to write one. And it takes some time. And it's expensive. Points to the guy. And this guy has Dimension Door, right? Mm -hmm. He, he You make a circle out here. Teleport in. And make another circle. No, no, I don't think you quite understand. Like... We need specialized tools to, like, melt gold into a circle. Also, we don't have why would we want a teleport circle in yeah. the middle of a prison cell? We, we would just leave at that point. Well, who said it had to be in the cell? It just has to be past security. Or at least mostly past. Uh, how long does it take to make one of these? It's gotta be like depends. Are you making? Hour, right? There's like an actual s circle spell. There, there yeah. is multiple ways to do this one, and the permanent variety, it takes a year of retranscribing every day. Yes. So, it it varies. Yeah. <laughs> also, again. Why would we want to do that in a prison cell? That would just make us... Like, we, we would already be there at that, at that that point. We would just leave and teleport to the one in the bar or something. Well, that, considering you're going after more than one person, getting in is just the first part. The plan is we grab one, bring them to the other, and leave. So based, We're not making two trips. That they'll re based on the information that you have, this spell will actually just, at 7th level, have just enough people to actually be able to transport everybody that you're trying to get, as well as the entire party, in and out. Because you have two people in there and six standing here. I have an idea. In character, over at uh, Phoenix. Um, can you teleport to an object that you know, or like a, a specific place, if you know, if you have something from there? If I have an object taken from the destination, like a rock or something, it was part of a wall. Hmm. That would work. Well, what's to stop us from teleporting back here if we take, I don't know, a pillow or a blanket or something? Yeah, that would work. Mm. 
So, then the only question is getting in with as many people as we can to get them out. As many unnecessary. You have. I'm. I'm gonna kind of like move this along a bit. You have what I see as two options. You can jump to an associated object area, which will get you on target. Or not associated object, seen casually area, which will give you a pretty decent chance of getting on target. Or, yes, you have locate creature and you will probably want that regardless, but if he is not in the place that you originally saw him, and you locate creature and jump to that, it'll be treated similar to um, false destination. Because uh, uh, last I checked, locate creature does not give you a view of the area. Uh, does it give I you assume a we don't have direction. dry or anything. It is, <laughs> to my understanding, and if somebody wants to post the spell to correct me if I'm wrong, it is basically they are over there that far away. Mm. Let me pull this up real quick. I don't actually know. <laughs> Since it's underground, fun times. <laughs> yeah, there's also that. <laughs> that is kind of a problem. You have to be and, with uh, right uh, the Actually, even more of a problem, uh, Loki creature doesn't work. There's a good amount of running water between there and the creature. Hang on, let me put the spell here in the chat. Running water? Yeah, running water. At least 10 feet wide. Like a river. Yep. That oh. seems like the most random of... What does know, that imply right? about how the spell works? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's not the only spell that it interrupts either, but yeah. What are you fairly random. wiring the... Teeny invisible vampires. I can't locate uh, a creature if uh, running water of ten I feet blocks path. I, I understand <laughs> the logic now. I understand the <laughs> the material component is a bit of flur flur a bit of Fleur. fur from a bloodhound, which means mm. that it's, it's essentially food. tracking scent. Can we be the Yeah. Range is a thousand feet. We're nowhere near close enough to be able to use it anyway. <laughs> yeah, that is the other issue. As far as I can tell, we've got well, one more option to remain and unless someone else has any other ideas. We get in via trickery, disguise, teleport, and however we can to get in there. We locate both of them, both Wind and the uh, the mysterious Alicorn person I saw. And then we use Teleport to get back here instantly. As fast as we can find it. Did anyone else have any ideas? Or we can just get the mysterious Alicorn and forget about the idiot. Still involves us breaking in. I don't it's yeah, hard. but if we only have to worry about one and not the other, like, it'll be easier. Plus one is actually <sighs> worth our time, so. I'm not leaving another comrade behind. We've lost enough. Wait, I don't want to lose anyone else. Especially right. when I was involved in this too. Alright, compromise. He lost us. All right, here's a compromise. We grab the alicorn first, and then we try and get wind. But if we get caught, we teleport out immediately. Works for me. All right. If that's how it's got to be, that's how it's got to be. But we're gonna do our very best to get them both out as best as we can. Understand? Mm-hmm. And All if right. teleport is our exit strategy, everybody should stay close to me in case we need to get out quick. Gotcha. My first sign of danger, we all get close and use the spell. 
I would actually recommend as just a suggestion that you have two groups, one searching for wind and one searching for Luna. That way, because you have multiple people with locate creature, it'll also of course the DM would say split up the party. Mm. Don't you of know course. you never split the party? <laughs> I mean, it'll cut it's down funny on the search time. Every time I say it, y'all split the party anyway. <laughs> she does have a point. You have a, yeah. you have a history yeah. of doing exactly that. Yeah, <laughs> we do. <laughs> And normally you'll all say it's a good idea up until the point that it punches you in the mouth. What are you talking about? I've never said that. <laughs> yeah, but that's because you've been here for what, four sessions? Ouch. I'm also... <laughs> I love how that sounded so distant. It was, because I was like really far away from my mic when I stood up and did that. Yeah. I'm operating under the assumption that my character would act so I have my excuse with two excuses <laughs> it's what my character would do is the worst excuse ever <laughs> yeah you know <laughs> fair enough so, theoretically <laughs> uh, teleporting in and then splitting up wouldn't be so bad because not only do we have multiple people who can cast locate person we also have multiple exit strategies so you would want to decide the composition of your groups beforehand yeah. Split up the like... teleport, split up the plant portal. Yeah. The only problem with the plant portal is... Well, I guess that is a problem. Never we located a bush, that's... Mm -hmm. And I think we have ones at the inn. Probably <sighs> use that one. I'm gonna claim my spot with the yak before things go downhill. <laughs> the barns <laughs> must stick together, you know. Yeah, kind of like leaning out the window. Yeah, plant down there if you can link the two. Uh, I'm a. We've got group one so far. Who's the third one for group one? Because uh, as far as I can tell, you guys are gonna go with this plan. Uh, I'm sticking with the yak. Okay. Who all is in group one and? Who is their objective? I'm going because we're going to get the alicorn. Forget the vampire. Let him burn. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I am just to like, go in the rest of the groups. Um, Coral feels very betrayed by the fact that she wasn't told that he was a vampire. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't worry, Coral. Uh, uh, once we get back, we can we can beat up Wind about it. But but until then, we have before then we have to get him out. He put himself in there. So we don't we've give got a fuck. Team Bard, Team Barbarian over here <laughs> going for the vampire, and then. Uh, Who's their oh, sh Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Just because it's a bard and a barbarian and then a bard <laughs> Yeah, this is a good point. We need somebody who can actually teleport us out. Yeah. Mean, um, everyone can teleport. I mean, you can. You got actually, bard and barbarian. Team Barbarian is actually pretty good because you have the bard, the barbarian, and then the bard barbarian sub like multi class. <laughs> yeah, the barbarian, <laughs> the bard comp. Yeah. Everyone fears me. I won't do anything. <laughs> Maybe I should go in that one. I do want to uh, point out that uh, I don't remember which one of y'all said it, but somebody did have a good point. Like, what is y'all's exit strategy? Because the long range yeah, exit strategy, to my understanding, were Phoenix and Mel. <laughs> yeah. Right now, those are our only two really clean and good exit strategies. The only other exit strategy we have. <laughs> is like breaking through a door or something and running for our lives with somebody on the back. <laughs> oh, we'll be fine. Trust me. <laughs> it's a great strategy. Uh, Listen, I have greater probably invisibility. probably go for the group going for Luna. Because there will probably be higher security. Possibly uh, including magic security. We got Coral and we got Phoenix on the same team. Need a teleport on both teams. So uh, one of one of the Kieran need to pick a different team. 
that. Yeah, best I've got is Dimension Door. I can't get us all out. Because you're going to have a fourth person on each team to teleport. Right. <laughs> uh, we're going for the vampire, right? Yes, Biafi will be headed like for the vampire. It would be fundamentally uh, beneficial if I'm on this side because I have all the utility spells like knock and silence <laughs> and greater invisibility. <laughs> Yeah, uh, knock in silence. It's probably best if you cast silence first. That, that's what I mean. I didn't mean that was the order yeah. at which I'm casting them. <laughs> so unlock the door, silence. They didn't hear anything, swear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just hear a shave and a haircut coming from behind and absolutely nothing. <laughs> mm. Yes, so, I, I believe I should be uh, hunting down the vampire. <laughs> So, Cold, it sounds like you may need to switch teams and join Coral. No, yeah, because, uh... I'm pretty sure the DM did it, but, like, when he started dragging people outside to split the teams, uh, he, he yeah. didn't touch either of the exit strategies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I just split it by about Biafi and Coral <laughs> being essentially team leader, and, um, everybody was like, I'm gonna follow Biafi. Uh, <laughs> No, the bards stick together, come on. Okay. Oh, guess my choice has been made. Oh. I'm the, a, okay, I'm with you guys. Alright, you come with us. But nobody was making the decision, so the DM made it for you, because otherwise we will be here all night waiting for you to quit squabbling <laughs> over it. Yeah, good point. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get going. Alright. We only have one chance at this. So, so let's make it count. I'm going with the assumption that you all teleport to the space that uh, you originally saw him in and her. Oh yeah, who is casting this spell? And who is going where? Again, I am assuming it is going to the dungeon and the only one that can't that can go to the dungeon is the spellcaster or yep. the wizard person okay. with teleport <laughs> okay so you you're gonna need me like there's only one in the party you're gonna, you're gonna you need to uh, we're going with oh. I'm not gonna seems casually <laughs> dungeon rock oh, there, I did I missed the viewed once <laughs> so you get to uh, you get to roll we're using the viewed once one Okay, fun. I will be casting our exit teleport with a heckin' wish, it looks like. <laughs> you not have any more, uh, not any more spell slots other than that? No. Uh, I heard the sound. So, God damn it, roll um, 20. Roll 20. 100 words. 82, yep. baby. Yeah, sir. <laughs> I was fully go expecting on. that to go horribly, horribly wrong for you. <laughs> oh, oh, it'll just go really bad on the exit. Somebody yeah, sent another, lo another long spell. I had to reload World 20 because, of course. Of course. All right, I, have the, I have the blanket with me. Well, I'll give you the blanket once we get there, I guess. <laughs> no, my computer. Why you do this? Let me find the dungeon. Make sure everything's set up right. Oh yeah, I did uh, grab a piece of bed frame before we left. Familiarity or associated yeah, object. <laughs> yeah. Me when I crack the them. bed frame. <laughs> I'm <laughs> <in the> bag. <laughs> <laughs> just, just the whole. One of the legs is just a little thinner now. <laughs> a, little, a little less sturdy. Something seems a little weird here. But I don't know. Something's missing. Figure yes, that's safe. Something strange. So, oh, I could have sworn that bed frame wasn't cracked in two. Give me a sec <laughs> to start loading people onto the map. I'm not going to change the sizes just yet. 
But I will note that this this over here is not a wall. It is a hallway. Yay. Yeah. You, you just weren't convenient that allowed. none of us were uh, <laughs> teleported into a room full of guards. <laughs> Thank God they stopped patrolling this hallway. <laughs> Says that really loud. Ah, oh, man, it really is a good thing there's no guards over here. <laughs> I don't know okay. what we would do if a guard went around this corner right now. <laughs> I figured that right, uh, right. based off of the... Um, yeah, this would be... The situation you area. guys would be headed to this area. Yeah, this would be the most familiar area, for sure. Mm -hmm. First we time had I've our been back here, ever, so. goodbyes. Mm -hmm. All right. Time to split up, then. Uh, I... Uh, I point at this cell over here, like... Uh, they, they moved him. All right. Well, we're just gonna have to find him. You said you have loop that uh, that spell that can locate people, right? Yeah. All right. We're gonna need it. And I also remember my uh, my vision of where he was. Right. I'm going to say yes. Okay. All right. I will cast a locate object. Locate <laughs> locate object. Well, look at creature. I mean, come on. Stop objectifying me! <laughs> he is in this direction. To the right. Wait. Mm -hmm. right. Can you point over yonder? Over. I can't move my character. That away. <laughs> okay. You guys got target right. on one. Where's the other? Um, Phoenix, you had that also, didn't you? Oh, no, I don't. No, it was Coral that had That's it. the air. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm casting two locate on very locate creatures. Uh, no, Coral's got it. Coral, no. no. it's up to you to fight the, the alicorn. Right? I know you can okay, do it. Okay, do you guys remember how the alicorn exactly looks? Because... I'll describe. I, I, I've been in contact with them. Roll. <laughs> I'm still going to have you roll an intelligence check. <laughs> Oh, I'm pretty sure she's the other alicorn from the books. That's very yes. rude of you to do that, Nameless. She's big and blue and she has kind eyes full of fear. Kind eyes full of fear, thank you. Yeah. Ten. I said check, not save. Uh, please. Ha! Ah. I actually don't know why it's adding my deficiency on that, but I'm not going to complain. It's because it's a check. Yeah, but... It... Don't you yeah, have, like, a jack-of-all-trades or something like that at this point? <clears throat> Yeah, no. come on. Yeah, but that's supposed to be for saves, not for checks. But no, I don't it, no it's, checks. it's everything except saves. Everything you're not proficient in. No. Yeah, it's, no, I'm not gonna complain. Yeah, let's say it's everything you're not proficient in. And wait, it adds your proficiency? It adds yeah, half, half the proficiency. proficiency. Half the proficiency. I was about to say that didn't make sense if it adds his proficiency because his he should have higher than a three, but that makes sense now. Yeah. Yeah. No, Jack of all trades would be even more insane. So, so yeah, far, say, it is also hey, leading you to... in this direction, Coral. All right. Uh, we need uh, 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 uh. All right, well, we better get going before someone notices. Mm -hmm. I'll cast a level. And it's pushing us in that director, too. I'll cast a, if I can get my spells to open up. One. How many? Let's see. One minute. Yeah. I don't know if you have one minute to pull this off. At about this point, um, Kindle has started wandering towards that direction. It's just like, I'm not waiting for you guys. Come on. Uh, uh, I'm going to cast invisibility on Coral and Kindle. 
May I just Thank say, you. I'll, uh, cast invis- I'll cast yeah. invisibility on myself and Naomi and just, um, not Naomi, on uh, Melrose and I'll just, no, you have invisibility also, don't you? Can, can, can I just say, if you're casting invisibility, on invisibility none of us yeah. are going to be able to see each other. I can at least wild shape, so don't cast it on me. Um, I'll just cast can, it on myself. Can one of you guys not cast it on someone? Because I have greater invisibility and not just invisibility, so I have to cast it on someone else too. Or at least it would just be beneficial. All right, you can. I won't cast it at all. I guess <laughs> I'll cast it on you. I'll cast greater invisibility. I, I have no control of my token. Don't worry. This, do this, uh, there we go. This is just mostly your a transition map. All right. Your movement privileges have been revoked. So, well, either way, Kindle has made his way down the hallway. Let me see if yep. it will split you into groups. That Before way. invisibility was cast, I am holding on to y'all's tail. Let's go. <laughs> okay, that, 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 okay. I'm ready to go. Uh, can I just point out, uh, you you resist. You decided you didn't want the great the regular invisibility, which lasts an hour. You instead cast greater invisibility, which only lasts. Fine, like jeez, minute. okay, yeah, I'll take normal invisibility. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I will cast invisibility. It's. <laughs> what are we yeah, doing? I didn't guys? know we were mid maxing. My bad. I mean, I, I, if we're on a timer, I'd rather have a longer timer. <laughs> how, blind, how long are you planning to stay here? Coral, Naomi, and Melrose were one team, right? Or was it? No. Coral, Naomi, we're... and. Kindle. There we go. This is the team. That at third level. That will be on the both of us. So I'm going to go ahead and transition you guys to the different maps. Somehow, if World 20 will quit trying to throw you across the entire suite of maps that I have. <laughs> and then... That is uh, a lot of bones. No, that's not what it's about it. <laughs> Frankly ridiculous. <laughs> so you guys start heading down the corridor and eventually it comes to a spot where it uh, throat punches roll 20. Um, where it branches off and you guys have to actually split ways. I take it we both both groups know which directions we have to go. Yep. Sure hope so. Okay, at the crossroads, uh, Kendall has kind of stopped and is waiting for the person to lead in the next direction. That would be Coral. I am holding y'all by the tail. I'm not, like, pulling... I'm not pulling y'all super tightly, but I am tugging it, like, direction-wise, like, hey, this way or this way. I'm not... You're the one with, uh, yeah, that has the detection, around. right? <laughs> I have locate creature here. Yeah. And you're on the thing. I kind of whisper. You take the lead. I don't know where we're going. Well, this is abjectly horrifying. Yeah. I'm just gonna pull you lightly. Don't worry. Also, don't suddenly stop. <laughs> I might tug too hard at that point. <laughs> no sudden movement. Okay. Which pathway then? Uh, okay. Are you making a stealth roll while invisible? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Man, mm, it's so I keep forgetting how it's to stay quiet. <laughs> There's a building to Actually, is it left? Is it right? Which way? Give me so, a second. I need to focus. I'm a. I'm a start with the talkative bunch. Is they? Uh, <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> Coral, still tiny. Let's make okay. Coral not tiny. He's so cute. Finally, somebody my size. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am like, I'm sorry. Yeah, I like how my avatar is also like generally smaller than everyone else's. If Which Coral ever shrinks down, Coral will definitely be taking piggyback rides. 
Absolutely. <laughs> Three thousand percent. Yeah, I mean, it's my plan is just to pick up whoever's there and walk out with them on my back with invisibility going. Actually, she's holding us by our tails. We can't go too far. No. <laughs> Which is probably yes. why she did it. Exactly. It's also good because that means we're all in range of teleport if needed. And we'll get lost. <laughs> Okay, I suppose we keep moving forward. With and, uh, low state creature, is there a specific direction it's pulling me towards? Well, rather. Across mm. the Bridge of Bones. Oh. Mmm. Um, basically, <laughs> once I get to about here, I want to take a look at the uh, entire area. Phoenix is going to mm-hmm. activate her magic detector, just in case. Because we don't want to... This is... <laughs> this is not good. And I'm, like, whispering to you guys, it's across the bone pass! Our cities. Naturally. It looks like it's... Well, I'm still waiting. Do I need to make a perception roll? Uh, not just yet. Um, I'm still... That's looking through my uh, collection of horrors. <laughs> you don't have to. Oh, but I do. <laughs> this is literally out of character. This is literally nightmare moons domain. Nightmares are gonna be a thing. I got the screen yeah. skull. <laughs> Ah, uh, yep. <laughs> By the way, you don't need to roll to see that thing. It is it is just massive. Okay. Oh man, I can't believe that I rolled a net one of my perception. I can't see this giant column. <laughs> <laughs> and one more. You definitely have something in your eyes at that point. Yeah. You start well, getting that's negative just classic, on your uh, yeah. Well, that's just the classic peacemakers shove your head into your bag roll. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's one of those uh, you're not noticing the shopkeep friendly and waving at you. Yeah, that's one of those. You see the friendly shop people around it off. A skeleton and attack Demon them. spider. Naturally. Ooh. So, Glenn didn't go that way. <laughs> I want to take like kind of a, you know, very close sweep um, of what's around in case I miss something. So this is a flaming green skull above the pool of acid. Mm-hmm. Whatever this is, it appears to be at least somewhat undead and uh, is currently walking through the pool of acid. This is similar okay, creature. Acid. It is very obviously acid. Okay. Got creepy demon spider thing here. And something that you look at... It, here and here and both of them you are like I don't, I don't know magic things but that is a wrong kind of wrong and then two guards up the entrance of the cave well we better be quiet from here on out no words just hold on to my tail I don't think and words are an issue. Are you, are you three invisible Bones as well? Bones are crunchy! Sorry, what was that name, Liz? You three are invisible as well? Uh, I believe yes. we are. Okay. Yeah. So, just 
Hold them on my tail. Let's see if we can get across without detection. If we do get detected, run into the room, find the alicorn, and get out. Watch your footing. So you will need to roll stealth because, as Coral has pointed out, bones are noisy. They are very noisy. Not to mention you are going to be walking across a bridge of bone over an acid pit. Yeah. Um... Your Quirrell can fly, but... But Quirrell's not a strong enough flyer to carry two ponies of regular pony yeah. size. Yeah, wow. that's true. So, stealth rolls. She got itty bitty wings. Uh, normal roll. Normal stealth roll, unless you have something that gives you advantage. Bummer. Um. Ooh. Can I cast bummer. guidance on myself? Uh, not without breaking out his ability. Yeah. Fuck. Anxiety. I do not have high pluses like the rest of you guys. Oh god. Oh, Rolf. Just get a different things. Nope. Oh no. Shit. <laughs> nope. This is when we Dumb die. Scale. Oh my gosh, my laptop about to die. Um. Well, well, you figure that out. We'll uh, switch over to the other group. Ah yes, anime sound <laughs> so you guys walk into a hallway with a door at the end this door appears to be just like a regular wooden door what do you is the door locked the door is unlocked okay Alright, let's get this open. To... Oops. On the other side... Appears to be... What was, at one point or another... Some sort of... Uh, place of worship, like a church or something like that. And... Over in this direction is what appears to be like some sort of bridge, maybe? Mm -hmm. That leads mm -hmm. to the uh, next area. You. Okay. Anybody inside here or no? It is eerily quiet. Creep on in there. Just look at you. I know where we're going, right? Yeah, then don't worry. Okay. Which way are we in? Do we go through here? Do you still have a bead? Uh, I still know where I'm going, right, Nameless? <laughs> You're going to need to get to the far end of this room. Oh, boy. This, this goop pile over here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can't see that right now, but... Yeah, I know, but that's the far end of the room you're referring to? Yes. Okay. I have the I smallest know. inkling that this map was not designed for this campaign. I barely ever oh. have maps designed for I this campaign, same, so... <laughs> yeah. Not the same sneaking suspicion. Are anybody in this area? Nope. Again, right. you're really quiet. Carefully over this way. Seems to be some sort of banquet table. Mysteriously, all the chairs are up against the wall for some reason. There is a door here, and a door here. You should have that here is this Is this door closed or open? This one, Both of them are slightly ajar. Okay, can I see slash hear what's going on in here? Again, eerie silence. 
Alright. And what's going on in here? Roll Arcana for me. Arcana, okay. One second. It is a spell circle. with that please like this there's also a door here if you notice the big brown rectangles are doors yeah I can get over here without actually disturbing any of the circle yet yes all right so what's going on down door number two uh, you get long hallway with prison cell doors and not a single person to be seen not that you can see. All right. What's Lone doing? I'm trying to see what's in this doorway. You open the door to another hallway, and what looks to be some sort of trap door down here. How fun. Oh, let's see the trap door. If you can reasonably draw a line from where your point of view is to where the object is, you can see it. If that line has to care of it all, then you cannot see it. Yeah, no, I can see it. I can see a little bit of it. (laughs) What is that? I'm not quite sure. This whole place is strange. There was a spell circle where I went. I don't know what it does, but I don't know. Hmm. Well, the only way to find out where it goes. I'm gonna try and open the hatch. Roll strength. Athletics. Well, good thing I'm a bard berry. <laughs> So after a bit of uh, yanking, you're finally able to open it, and the scent that blasts out of it is, uh, you would say death, but death smells better than this. Everybody there needs to roll a constitution saving throw. Anything I'm good at. Constitution saving throw, hold on. Need one from Mel as well. Oh. By the way, is Mel muted? Because Mel has been very quiet. Oh, sorry. Uh, what am I making a check for again? Constitution oh, saving throw. Okay. I am good at those. Hey. <laughs> so you guys managed oh. to hold it together, and um, the limited light in the room shines in, and you see just innumerable corpses. It seems to have been some sort of, like, dumping pit, essentially. <laughs> That's like my dad. God bless him. Oh. What was that? Oh, what? I don't think we're going to be finding anything down there. I will continue down this hallway. So, as you uh, move down that hallway, you note there's several uh, cages, and it looks like there might have at one point been prisoners within these cages and cells, but uh, they're not there anymore. There's a few random bones laying about, but that's about it. (laughs) There is another door that is made of wood down here. Not locked. It isn't locked, but it does appear to be jammed closed. Okay. It would be an athletics roll to just barge it open. I don't know what knock does. I don't think knock applies here. 
Yeah, I'll just not... go ahead and... Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and push it open. The door flies open with a loud bang. And, um... This hallway seems much the same, except for a couple pools of greenish ichor. Alright. Let's keep going. Come on, Luan. Is Luan assuming, coming? I'm assuming luan has been following this whole time, and not just been sitting next to the trapdoor. <laughs> Did we, uh, did we lose Lone? Lone is currently muted, so maybe. Earth to Lone. Lone, you are the mute. Okay, then we'll go back to the other group, since uh, Lone seems preoccupied at the moment. <laughs> okay. I first want to claim bullshit. I was the only first one to acknowledge the fucking bones will be noisy and then they become noisy with me not nah, bullshit <laughs> uh what's that boys these bones are noisy gives a demonstration <laughs> <laughs> she's a 12 year old she's not that no. <laughs> have you ever yeah, seen how far a do we make it on the bridge have you ever seen a 12 year old try to sneak they don't sneak anyways <laughs> You guys get about here when uh, Coral, not quite sure of her footing, given that she can't see her own feet, um, steps on a loose skull, which uh, sends a cascade of bones off the side and into the pool of acid. (laughs) You are still invisible, but uh, there is now several alert creatures in the area that are... Apparently quiet as fuck. <laughs> it must have been the wind. It must have been the wind. If they were loose beforehand, it could just literally be gravity just doing its own thing, you know? Yeah. Nothing to see here. Yeah. So some justification. Must have been the wind. Well, we got someone's attention. Internal screaming. I'm Hello, back. Lone. Oh. Yeah, you, I heard you the news. unexpectedly went AFK, so we went back over the other group. <laughs> I got you. Sorry about that. That's fine. Everything okay? Someone? Yeah. Someone threw stars around your head. <laughs> now. Coral, you can attempt to make another uh, stealth check to uh, prevent drawing any further attention to yourself. The other two, you are just standing there holding your breaths for the moment. (laughs) The fear is real. Jesus fucking Christ. 18! So you are able to uh, calm and steady yourself for the moment. Um, some of the creatures return to whatever it was they're doing. I don't know if it shows these things, like, moving for you guys. It shows some of them moving. Okay. So do you guys continue your uh, stealthy journey across the bridge and into the cave? I don't have much choice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, stealth rolls. Nope. Nope. No. I am going to try and not move the entire map. <laughs> yeah, just move the map until we're where we're supposed to be. 
that's not how you guys travel. <laughs> Back to the other group. <laughs> I feel like I have some suspicious players now. Um, so you guys are in the hallway. There's pools of green ichor. It seems to have been there for a while now because it's largely coagulated, coagulated into a sort of gooey mess. Kind of like a jelly almost. Pretty close, yes. Alright. Just gonna move on. Just, let's try not to touch it as much as we can. I don't exactly know what it might do. He says he immediately touches it. <laughs> so, it gets thicker the further in you go. And uh, there seems to be a substantial pool coming from under the uh, the door here. All right. Door uh, door locked. This one also seems to be jammed, but not locked. Okay. All right. Let's try and get this one open also. And um, last one was pretty loud. I think you can make this one a wee bit quieter. I mean, why don't you just, I don't know, you sure you don't have like a liquid or something? I kind of don't want to cast a spell on to be frank. Well, I, alright. I could just push it, that's the problem. I don't really have anything to deal with doors except me one head. <sighs> Fine, here, I'll handle it. Don't worry, it's alright. He's, all he's already locked. done it, so. It's the, not uh, locked, it's, I had to push it. The door? Yeah bangs open and uh, inside there seems to be like the majority of the source of the green fluid as uh, what appear to just be clusters of tentacles uh, there's no discernible body eyes nose mouth nothing it's just what appears to be clusters of tentacles are they moving at all or are they just kind nope. of stationary They are just stationary. You didn't hear me the first time. Yeah, I heard you. All right. You said where we had to go was in here, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right then. Let's let's stay close. Close to the camera. I will go inside. <laughs> okay. Um, Lone, when you get in here, your, uh, your sense of where to go is through this door. Fancy a fun time looking through the bottom door. Alright. Just kind of edging around all these growths. Get to the door. Is the door locked? The door is just barely open. You know, that kind of open where it looks like it was closed up until you get close enough and realize, oh, it's, an, it's open. It's a jar. Yeah, just a wee bit. Just a wee bit open. Uh, no yes, gap. I think that's a door. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> okay, I'll give you that one. Here we go. I will push open the door so I can look in. Because there's not really enough room for me to stand here with this thing. Except in the door itself. So... The majority of the floor in the next room has been destroyed, and there is a thing. It, for lack of a better description, it is as if the walls of the downward tunnel itself have grown flesh, eyes, and mouths. And um, some of the eyes are still active, actually, as they uh, they look back at you. 
What is that uh, thing? Uh, I think I haven't got a throw up. Can I roll either an arcana or like a history to see if I have any ideas what this would be? You can roll arcana or history at disadvantage. Both will give you information if you are able to pass. Alright. Do it with history. Okay. Aw, that stinks. So, you really haven't heard much about a creature like this. In fact, you aren't entirely sure you could even properly call it a creature. But, um... This appears to be the only way to continue through. Whoever put these two down here wanted to make sure nobody came after them. Yeah, they can see. The funny thing is, none of the ones with wings actually came this way. Yeah, I'm the one who can cast fly. I, I can turn into a bird. <laughs> Druid mode. <moment. laughs> Bard moment. All right. So you I'll take cast, the plunge. I'll cast fly on myself and I'll go down. How far down is it, by the way? I'd say roughly about two hundred feet. Okay. It's a pretty hefty distance Lund. if you were to just jump. Lon, do you have a way down? down I go is not the way you'd like it to be. <laughs> Do I need to pull up the uh, fall damage calculations? What's the fall? Well, I already know the damage by heart. <laughs> what was if that? You don't have a way down. I will What's... carry you down. No, no, no! Don't worry. I just want to know what the fall damage calculation is first. <laughs> For two hundred feet, it's something like. It's like one d six for every yeah. ten feet. So that's what? Yeah, like 20d6. 20 yeah. 20d6. 20 so what's max damage on 20d6? Uh, that would be, uh... 100... Uh, 12... 120? Oh, I'll be fine, I'm jumping down the hole. Yeah, the average is like 70. <laughs> oh. I'll jump down the hole, I'll be fine. I'll just carry you, dude. Just I'll jump down easy. the hole, don't worry, I'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, he insists. Angry Barbarian jumps down the hole. Listen, max damage won't kill me, so... <laughs> it's all that matters. <laughs> it's all that matters. <laughs> well, we just I'm still conscious damage. at the bottom, it's a win. One of these days, I'm just gonna add exploding dice to uh, fall damage. <laughs> fall damage. <laughs> <laughs> and that day is today. <laughs> Lamp your neck. It's worth noting, I'm pretty sure that uh, 20d6 is the max amount of fall damage. Like any for that's terminal velocity right there. <laughs> DM is going to rule otherwise. The farther <laughs> you fall, the bigger the number gets. <laughs> it's not if how fast you run, it's the sub stop at the end. Because, uh, you know, my parties get pretty beefy, so. I'm not going to encourage the barbarian to jump off the five five story building. I don't even actually know how many feet that is, so. But it's so um, funny. No <laughs> jumping off the tower like upside. Five, to be honest. I feel like five five stories is less than two hundred feet. I feel like you're probably yeah, five right. Five stories like fifty to sixty feet. But no jumping off the eye of Sauron. Towers. Oh, ah, oh, ruining the fun. What's my plan all along? All right, let's fly down. Okay, I guess I wild shape into a bird and fly down. Ability is gone, by the way. So, uh, Lone, you don't need to make this roll because you aren't staying around fast enough or slow enough. Um, but the other two need to make a sanity check. <laughs> See, this is the reason I jumped. <laughs> No, it wasn't. You just didn't want to take the health. Exactly. Uh, Point made. Sanity check or save? We take those. Save. It would be a save. I'm already uh, insane. You can't change that. 
I've been through enough crap. I do find it funny that nobody has tried to beef up their sanity yet. How? <laughs> I mean, we literally didn't... We, only we haven't leveled up since we had sanity added. Touche. I, I will give you that much. I forgot about that part. Also, that doesn't actually benefit our characters at all, like that much. Yeah, it's like literally just the save. Yeah. <laughs> like the best you can do is uh, during one of your level ups, you take uh, uh, resistant and you just get make yourself proficient. But that's it. Yeah. To Mel, you you get like the chills and the distinct impression that this thing that you were going past is not a a natural creation. Um, Biafi, you're about to have fun. Yay. Yay! So, yeah, first off... Say again? Never seen that one before. DC 15 Nightmares. I'm gonna hit you with the uh, psychic damage. Yay! Apparently quite pitiful psycho psychic damage. Yeah. How many... <laughs> oh. All wow. but one of them was a two! <laughs> What the hell is this? <laughs> I guess losing one's father, almost getting executed, and then having to prevent the execution of a friend is already tough enough. <laughs> can't, can't hurt me any worse than you already have. <laughs> the result uh, is strong. You can't kill me in a way that matters. <laughs> but um, as you are uh, descending, you get the distinct impression that something is not right. Roll a wisdom saving throw for me. At disadvantage. Who? Yaffi. <laughs> okay. Is it saving throws that you get the plus three on? Because you keep rolling with the plus three because I said saving throw. All of the above. Anything thought, I'm not proficient on. I thought somebody just said that it wasn't saving throws. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, according to roll 20, it is every single roll that I'm not proficient on. Yep. Fired moment. Okay. Either way, you failed. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So, the, what I'm about to start describing next, the rest of the group with you does not see. Not that one. Hold on, I gotta find a good... Do you mean that resonant piano note, wasn't it? I can tell which song it is. There we go, that's... I gotta pause it to uh, loop it, though. So, as you are floating down through the uh, strange, fleshy wall, um, it's subtle at first. You, you, a glimpse of steel there, some dirt where it shouldn't be here. And um, as you get further and further down, you start to notice that uh, the wall of flesh has turned into a wall of packed dirt, wooden post, and barbed wire. And the further you get, the more it turns into this, until the point that you touch down on the ground, and you're standing in what appears to be an open field. It's heavily overcast overhead, and uh, as far as you can tell, there is nothing else alive here. The occasional oh, flash so he's of... alone and we're not there? No, you guys see him touch down on the ground looking absolutely just, like, disfraught. Um, well, I see them there. No, you do not. 
Oh, you wanna know what I almost forgot I see? What's that? Other than the cobblestones as you land. Seventy points of damage to my face. Well, you already I already rolled that. Oh, it was sixty-seven. Yeah, sixty-seven. Okay, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> Do I hear the landing? I oh, don't know. He landed like five minutes ago. <laughs> um, uh, quick you, question: what what Did you ra decide to go raging to have that, or no? Okay, if I rage, I go Nyrick mode. Do you really want me to assault Biafi while he's having his acid trip? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, as you guys, or as Biafi, um, you guys got me so twisted up and as Biafi, uh, as you were looking around, um, you notice that the, uh, the field is not totally uninterrupted. Um, there appears to be trenches of some sort all around you. Again, flashes of lightning, cracks of thunder. This is not a pleasant place, but it also does not seem to be a very alive place, for lack of a better way to say it. It's like empty? I have extra sounds to go with this. Extra sounds that are a little too loud. It seems not only empty, but as if it goes on forever. Roll a perception check. Sounds good. So, in the distance, you hear the slight sound of Somebody gasping and wheezing for breath. Do you move closer? How far away is it? In which direction? It appears to be to your right in a trench. About 150 feet away. You can only barely hear it. Yeah, I'll start making my way over there. So as you approach, uh, slowly, a little bit warily, but now I'm making a way there. As you approach, you note that uh, the field has been churned into kind of thick mud, which makes the uh, the travel very, very slow. Um, I think I'm still flying, baby. Well, actually, you were not. Really? My spell You're... just stopped working. Correct. For okay. the. Uh, for the group on the other side, he is in fact still flying, and it looks like he is trying to walk rather than fly, and is only succeeding in very minimal movement forward. Um, so as you are trudging through the uh, ever-thickening sludge, um, you finally get to one of the trenches, and you can tell there's something in there, but Due to the uh, the poor lighting of the overcast area that you're in, it's not easy to see. Can I roll another perception check to try and get an idea of where it would be, specifically? Well, you know it's below you, because you can hear the sound of it wheezing. It's in the trench. It's just the uh, combination of wood planks holding the walls up and uh, overcast darkness it's not very easy to see because as far as I'm aware you have nothing in the li lines dark of dark vision. vision you do have dark vision I do when did you get I dark have vision? Eldritch Light because I have Eldritch Initiate I took Devil Sight ah okay so you gotta keep me uh, uh, posted on these things because I did not remember you had that um, so actually you do see what's in the trench and uh, it appears to be a pony um, they seem badly injured, and they're laying propped against the wall. What do you... I'm gonna fly down there. I'm just... So you make an attempt to fly and instead fall on your face. Yeah. I, like, cast fly, 
in there, and then I just kind of fly down. The spell does not work. Okay, then I'm going to just try and make my way down there. So, when you manage to make your way to the bottom of the trench and over to the pony, you you instantly realize that you know who this is. And uh, they should be very dead. In fact, last time you saw him, he was kind of spread over here and over there and a little bit over there, all filled with barbed wire. Mm -hmm. As uh, I'm going to force Ice into uh, doing some voice acting. I will send you uh, what you need to say, and I will. T you, I'm pretty sure you can figure out a cue. Give me a minute to get that set up. So, uh, so if it wasn't already obvious, this is uh, his previous Ice's previous character, Ice Crystal. Mm. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> and um, <laughs> as you uh, <laughs> as Biafi approaches, and um, he looks up at Biafi, and go ahead, Ice. This is your fault. Before uh, reaching out. And um, it appears that his, and what appears to be a hand punching through the bottom of his hoof. The hand, though, is made of barbed wire. Um, this is the point that I allow the other two to attempt to uh, wake Biafi from whatever the hell is happening to him, from their perspective. Am I also allowed to make a save or no? If they try to wake you, yes. Then you will make a yeah. uh, a wisdom save. Depending on gotcha. what they decide to do, you may get advantage. So, Viafi's not clearly responding. Well, from your perspective, I'm going to go with the assumption of what I think Viafi would be doing, and at this point he is staring at a corner of the, the room, backing up in a with a look of abject horror. All right, well, time to do the uh, old funny in-character thing. I am going to... Uh, <clears throat> unhoof strike, because I can't say unarmed strike. <laughs> I mean, unarmed is still... Face. Say you're going to kick me in the face. <laughs> but that would hurt more. It's just that simple. It's so, just that simple. Roll the hit. <laughs> I don't have this on my character sheet. That's kind of sad. Anyone know what it is? And it's just a 1d6. Uh, it is... It's a... Uh, An unarmed strike uh, is one, strike is one damage, damage plus strength modifier. Oh, yeah. It uses your strength mod unless you're a monk and adds your proficiency. Oh. For the roll. Oh, you're looking for the hit. Yes. Do I need to roll the hit or do I need to roll the... Damage? You know, you, need to, you still need to roll the hit. Oogie. It's a proficient strength check, yeah. Yep. I'm just gonna roll this plus six. Seventeen. Yeah, that, yeah. Seventeen. Sixteen. Uh, that oh, meets 17. my armor class. I don't think that hits. If it meets Which your armor class, it hits. Okay. It's either meet oh, God, or beat. I I remembered we still haven't done the, th <laughs> the thing for Coral. Wouldn't Biafi also technically be flat-footed if he can't see alone? Yeah, this is, what do you think this is, Pathfinder? I was about to say, yeah, what is flat-footed? Yeah, the <laughs> flat-footed <laughs> doesn't exist here. <laughs> okay, I don't know. yeah. Yeah, so that I hits what did. damage? Uh... You act like I'm going to actually hurt you. <laughs> well, it'd be one point I mean, plus your strength. Right. If I remember uh, what's what's... what's... Is it strength plus proficiency? Just strength plus... It's just one plus your strength for damage. Two. Okay. Alfie, uh, roll a uh, advantage wisdom. Save. Huh. 
So, uh, Lone, when you hit him, you uh, hear the sound of ever so faint laughter um, as a uh, series of scratch marks tear through his shoulder for twenty damage. Biafi, on your end, the uh, the abomination that was ice is currently attempting to kill you. Uh, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. So you decide to run? Uh, yeah, I am. Uh, can I? How steep is the trench, by the way? The trench is going to take considerable effort and a athletics and acrobatics roll to be able to climb back up. Okay. Question. Ye, uh, I don't know why. Uh, that 20 damage goes to me, right? No, that goes no. to Biafi. That goes to me. I, I was you, a little confused. You smacked Biafi. Biafi didn't respond, and instead something ripped through his shoulder like claws. Mm -hmm. Well, more Biafi to be more exact, it work. looks like somebody dragged that arbed wire through his skin. But uh, I don't know if Ray Ray would be aware of what an injury like that would look like. It's and, like the uh, worst claw he marks then, in life. He promptly then turns around and starts running down the hallway at full tilt. Uh, so I got it. Uh, <clears throat> I would like to try and. Oh, wait, hold up. Do I even have it? Oh, this is going to be really funny. This is actually going to be really funny. I'll I'll start trying to run up the embankment. <laughs> uh, I would like to... I, I feel like I'm going to be told no. I would like to try and dominate person on Biafi. What does it entail? Uh, well, obviously, D&D, &D, so it's meant for a humanoid, but, you know. One day, DA is do exactly what they say. There we go. Mm-hmm. Distance. You know what? Go ahead. Give it a go. Give it a go? Wow. Nameless, how much do you want this absolute clown parade to go on? I mean, this clown parade is a consequence of your own actions, so... Yeah. Alright, Biafi. I mean... I... Me, make me a wisdom saving throw or be charmed by me. Do I hear the attempt, Nameless? Nope. Okay. In that case, we won't do counter charm because that would be stupid. Didn't actually you are entirely unaware of anything happening in the quote unquote real world. Is fair? <laughs> My DC's 20. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Loan, make me a sanity saving throw. I'll be fine. I won't nat one, right? I'm a laugh if you actually do. Like He's just 20 years of your life. 18 out of zero. Close. What can I say? So, <laughs> as you make the telepathic link with Biafi, you feel something else clawing its way towards you through it, but you are able to fend it off. Oh, I'm out of ideas. Melrose? Your spell went through. It worked. It worked. Oh, what? You schmuck. Oh, it, sorry. I, the way you said that made it seem like I, I, it didn't work. Well, no. you didn't get 
what was going to happen if you had failed that is that uh, you would also be stuck in the same problems as uh, Biafi. <clears throat> halt. Biafi, you find yourself suddenly unable to move, and uh, your attacker is very quickly gaining on you. Well, Rose, how do you think we get him out of this? Uh, start screaming. I, I, I uh, perch on his head and start uh, pecking at him. Roll a disadvantage wisdom saving through Biafi. Also, that means I can make a wisdom since the... <laughs> the dominate if this somehow doesn't work okay huh. did the bird do damage to me or was that very no light? okay I mean as far as I'm aware he's not a bird large enough to do damage to yak skull uh technically I'm a raven so yeah oh my not God. unless he goes for the eyes I don't. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. Hammering on your head is kind of painful. Painful, maybe, anyway. but not damaging. I mean, you got a punch to the face by a big uh, carrot. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm frozen in place and freaking out. By the way, Mill, um, just so you're aware, this is not a, what would have happened to you. Yay. He has added things that is causing this. Mm-hmm. Great. So, what are you guys going to do about this? Or do you need a moment to think so I can go to the other group? Okay, so... We're going to go over to the other group. So it's Kindle... Phoenix and Coral. Um, are we cool with a five minute break so I can go run the dog outside real quick? That's fine with me. Okay, so for those of you that are still watching, we will be back in just a minute. Don't forget to drink water and also like, follow, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and follow on Twitch. I think I said follow twice. Either way, I will be right back and then we will be right back to it. While I am gone, I'm going to swap out the music for something from... There it is. We'll do this.
Okay. I have returned. Welcome back. Are we missing anybody or is everybody here? I am here. I'm here. I think everybody's here now. Cameo's muted. Okay, so we're waiting on Cameo. Sounds like we may be waiting on... No, Lone's here, Nez is here. Yeah. Cameo's listening. Okay, so it looks like everybody. <coughs> Let me find the, uh, the song I was using again. You know what? We'll just use a different one for now. <laughs> so, for the group following quarrel, yep. you guys get into a room. Room has four doors and seems to have the same acid running through the middle. And what would appear to be your target. Oh, Joy. Can I definitely tell if it's her or not? Roll perception. Perception. You still have the. Target locate going. Yeah. Target locate. Mm -hmm. I should. Per per perception. I have a passive of 19. Do I, does that mean anything before I roll? Yes, because you're specifically perceiving over here. I will say that um, it does your location says this general direction but something about it feels it, it's saying down but it but you're seeing her here mm, okay yeah per perception mm. yes this looks like a blue alicorn But are her eyes kind? <laughs> but scary. Blue alicorn chained up and unconscious. Can't really see the eyes very well here. <laughs> Phoenix is gonna try and guide the party over here. I do let them know that even though I definitely see the alicorn there, locate Kucha is telling me down. But, like, she's, like, right there, so I don't understand what's up with that. Mm. An illusion, perhaps? 
Um, I mean, it would make sense, but I don't know how to see past illusions very well. Are we good with dropping the invisibility? Um, if you, like, want to cast a spell or something, I don't see why not. Okay. I... I think we're okay with dropping it for now. Because... Mm -hmm. That is also concentration, so... True. Do we have, all become visible. Do you have compartmentalized mind? Nope. Hmm. Why don't you have it? <laughs> because she... Have it. She has spells like Counterspell, and she kind of needs those. Understandable. And shield. And silvery barbs. Well, She has some good I will reaction say, spells. I will say that <laughs> the reaction is only taken if you're concentrating on two spells at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're sacrificing the reaction to do two at the same time. Yeah, but yeah. if you need two concentration spells at the same time, you could just do it. Anywho, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> the, uh, the left. <laughs> there does appear to be illusion and enchantment magic radiating from her here. Okay. Mm. So that's definitely not her likely a trap for any would-be rescuers. Best guess. Curious if the locate creature spell is being redirected as well or if it's still working fine. Mm. Well, it does say down, so maybe she is close by. Just maybe like a floor or a couple down? Let's check the other doors. Because I see three others. If one of them leads down, we can try that. Okay, I'll check this one over here. I'm gonna fly to this door. <laughs> okay. You should be able to... Yep, yeah, okay. Gonna kind of come down over here. Can I walk over the skull, or is it an actual obstacle? You would need to make an athletics check, but I will note that the holes will drop you into the acid if you fail. Okay. Uh, I believe I'm going to try and make my way across. And you said athletics? Correct. And normal. Okay. So you are able to make it across. Well, I'm going to immediately make my way over to this door and very quietly open it. What is I will uh, also slowly open the door. What is Phoenix slowly doing? Um, she is taking a closer look at the illusion and stuff. Um, she's curious if Luna might be below the platform she's supposedly on where the acid should be. Potentially. From what you can tell, the acid does indeed flow into the skulls here. <laughs> so, reasonably speaking, you don't want to melt your prisoner if you're keep yeah. going through these this amount of lengths to try to prevent them from being from escaping. Because if you wanted to melt them, you would have killed them already. The quarrel. Mm -hmm. Your door. Let me find the uh, map for it. Leads you to a fairly large room. Oh. You go... Oh. <laughs> it looks ancient, this area that you have found yourself in. What? 
the neck. Before you go exploring too much, I'm going to put, uh, focus on the others for a second. <laughs> As we further split the party, <laughs> Kindle, I am going yep. to fucking beat Roll20 into submission. As one does. Okay. This is where you find yourself. Alright. What all am I seeing? Big spooky portal. These, uh, what look like tentacles are actually some sort of unnatural plant growth. Though, you, you take a slight glance at the portal and very quickly realize you should not look at that. Alright. And this seems to be some sort of undead creature's head that is sustaining this magical circle, as well as the book inside. You get the distinct impression you probably should not touch. Um, right. I will note that all of these purple cracks here are simply freestanding in the air. Okay. Uh, for the moment, I want to go back upstairs, because right now I just want to see what's in each door. Okay. Give me just a sec. So I'm going to put you on the same level as Naomi. And then we're going to go visit Quarrel. Quarrel, what do you Coral, do want to explore? Okay. These here are magic circles. Brazier's. Brazier's. Ah. And what are all these things on the floor? Some sort of fleshy red growth. Hmm. There is a fl faint, unpleasant smell as it sits there and pulsates. Uh, is this thing alive? I hope it doesn't have any ghosts. Uh... What's that? What's uh, what? It's that over here. What this! This. Okay. It appears to be a book written in a language you don't recognize. With a crystal ball and a red gemstone sitting next to it. The crystal ball has a cla crack running through the middle of it. Which, as a spellcaster, it means that it is no longer of any use to anybody. So, essentially, giant paperweight. And uh, the gemstone could be a number of things. But um, without making any rolls, you can't identify it off the top of your head. Hmm. Different rolls will tell you different things about it. I do definitely want to check it out. About some arcana. Okay. Twenty. So, looking at it, you realize that this is a fairly powerful type of magical item known as a bloodstone. While, as far as I'm aware, you have no use for it, others may. Um, I will note, though, that it is considered a um, an evil item. Not that that is particularly something that Coral is uh, going to be 
having any qualms over, but uh, the others might. Uh, can I flip through the book to see if they have any pictures matching the, the bloodstone? Sure. I need you to roll, roll perception to act as like the uh, the searching. Really? Why are all my perception rules low? Roll sanity. What? Sanity save. Something that I'm thinking about. Sanity save. No. You get the distinct feeling that something is here and is watching you. It might even be a ghost. I'm going to slowly close the book. Take the book and the bloodstone with me and turn around. <laughs> so you're heading back to the rest of the group? Not just yet. I'm still a little curious. Now definitely scared. But still curious. So, uh, holding on to these a little tight. <laughs> Looking around as I'm walking around. Mm. Uh. Look, your body's already gone. Just leave. There's no reason for ghosts to be around, okay? I didn't eat the body this time. I came here and this place was like this, okay? What is this? It appears to be a blazing crown made of iron. Roll a wisdom blazing saving throw. Oh god. You feel well, the overpowering <laughs> need. Not not just a want, not just an urge, a need to put this crown on. I do take it. But I look at it, and then I realize one thing. The ghost is still probably fucking watching me. You know what? I'm just gonna take all of this with me. You know what? You're not, you're not gonna get this, ghost. Your body's already gone. It's mine now. Mine, you hear me? You're not gonna get it back. It's mine. <laughs> I wanna go back to the others. I'm as you leave the room, the ghost take, is following me. As you leave the room, you take three points of psychic damage. Ah. <laughs> okay. Let's back to Naomi, which is this room. This room. She doesn't have athletics or flight, but she does have a uh, silken rope 500 feet long, so she's creating a cat's cradle bridge. Is that why there's just 800 tables? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just making sure I could make a like pretty close to solid bridge out of it. And the cat's cradle and the <laughs> Are you really? <laughs> I could go over there now. Okay, uh, be careful though, I think there may be a ghost around here. I, I don't get why ghosts come around when their bodies are gone, but there might be one around here. Uh, it's through the store, so don't do it. What is, uh, what is your passive perception, Ice? Um, oh, the bridge is gonna disappear. Uh, passive perception 16. You, uh, you note that Coral is carrying an item that looks incredibly dangerous. Ah, um, Coral, yep. you should... That you would be that the down. crown, by the way. Ah. Uh, put what I'm down? Over here now. Uh, the, the crown that you're wearing. What? She's not wearing what? it yet. Oh, uh, she's not? Uh, yeah. Even though I feel the need to put it on. <laughs> Thinking that there's a ghost around me, I'm not putting it on yet because they could just snatch it off my head, and that's not nice. No, no, it's like these, these things are not mine. Damage. 
<laughs> it just gets worse and worse. <laughs> like, you, you probably shouldn't be touching it, Quirrell, at all. Oh, I should put it in my bag of... My bag of rocks. Or the acid. Why the acid? What is the acid? Thought. What did the acid break it? Exactly. <laughs> but why? It's probably the object that uh is acting as the anchor for the ghost you have been dealing <laughs> with. So roll persuasion. And then No, no. That can't be right. At persuasion at disadvantage and a disadvantage or a advantaged insight from uh, Coral. Advantage insight. Will the appeal to phobia <laughs> work? Damn. <laughs> Decent rolls though. <laughs> it did not work. <laughs> Wait, Coral? steal for tarps. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Coral, you are now convinced that Ice is trying to steal the crown from you. God. No, no. The go ghosts don't like this type of stuff. They won't be in it. Arcana as long as I can get it me? out here safely. Oh, what? Roll Arcana at advantage for me. Arcana. Advantage. God damn. <laughs> yeah, funny. <laughs> so, nice. ghosts don't like iron. This is made of iron. Hold on. This is we're made just, of iron! We're just gonna ignore the fact that it's <laughs> specifically cold iron. <laughs> Just forget that part. This is made of iron! Ghosts won't deal with it! Which is what makes it perfect, actually. You know what? I should put it on now, actually, now that I remember that. Do you place yes. the crown upon <laughs> thy head? Yes. Oh no. Takes the thine mantle of leadership. <laughs> so at first nothing seems to happen but um, you feel an odd itching on your back as mm -hmm. um, through Phoenix Coral's wings get much larger as do she now has sprouted a pair of horns and her tail is now barbed at the end and much longer than it was previously. And uh, Kindle, you see all of this happen as well. The crown has gone from being atop her head to floating somewhere between the horns. And the, uh, by all appearances, this is going to be rough. Right. I don't suppose I could just uh, dispel magic the crown. Let me see dispel magic. Uh, there it is. Because <laughs> it's probably an artifact, not a spell imbued into it. It is, in fact, an artifact. And if Portal had. Or portal. Coral had stopped to look at the portal, would have revealed that it is an infernal artifact. <laughs> yeah. Spellcasting ability is DC 10 plus the spell's level. What would an artifact even count as? Good question. This is one of those questions that <laughs> Dispel Magic never answers. Yeah, I think mechanically it's just Dispel Magic doesn't work on it. That's where I'm aiming with this, because like at that point, 
what's the point of having artifacts like Krishinabon in the original Forgotten Realms setting? That when mm -hmm. all you can do is point. dispel magic it away? Yeah, can I start kind of making my way over there, like going over the skull? Which one are you going over? Gonna start going over this one. You're gonna need acrobatics for that one. Acrobatics for that one, okay. Yep, you're gonna have to make jumps. You gotta see if you have the hops. <laughs> I have the hops. He's got the medium. You do have the hops. You make it in one big leap. <laughs> we have the meats. You can roll athletics for the other one. Right. When you get there. Um, Pretty good, pretty good. You're good? Are you raged right now? No, I am not. Okay. <clears throat> I'm I'm kinda getting ready. I've got like a hand on my axe. It's just kind of what hand? Really, uh, you know, really, like really I'm worried I'm going to have to use it and really don't want to have to. So we're going to pause the Mexican standoff here real quick and uh, go see if the others have come up with a plan. <laughs> Bold. Meanwhile, I'm just screaming. That's right. Uh, you guys are still in this room. I don't have a plan. Uh. I I genuinely don't know what to do besides just keep hitting the yak. Well, are you gonna smack the yak again? This time you don't have to roll. You just tell me you're doing it because you've made it so he physically cannot move. Uh, yes. I guess it's time to uh, beat the yak. Which, first we will have the uh, wisdom saving throw at advantage for uh, breaking the vision from Yoshi. Don't. Listen, speaking of, like, when Lone punched him, I, I, that gave him an advantaged wisdom, but when I pecked yeah. him, that was disadvantaged. Which is really bad because he rolled a 21 on mine. Yeah, it's really bad because I rolled in that. Because I rolled a net 20 on that one. So, Biafi, at, just as the uh, monstrosity that was Ice Crystal closes in on you, you are suddenly brought back to the real world by somebody hoofing you all out just in the face. And, um, again, for everybody, you hear the very just faintest sound of laughter and bells tingling. I fixed the yak. I'm still flying, luckily. But at this point, yeah. you're just cover, kind of hovering inches oh. off of the floor. Yeah, I, I come down. I'm breathing very heavily. <laughs> we need to get out of this place as fast as possible. Okay. You still got to. You still know where we're going. Kind of sense out the room. Do I still? You need to. Uh, the last impression that you got, I'm gonna say that uh, it's probably been long enough that uh, your spell would have run out. Is that you need to continue down the hallway? All right, down the hallway we go. I hate how I grab the group that I'm trying to move, and the roll twenty is like, you want to go to the very top, not the bottom, where all the maps you're using are, right? Surely so, this is what you meant, not actually what you said. Right? Oh! Hey! You guys Yay. get... It, it was Ray Ray. Uh, Do I need to make Lorge? Uh, it's about to see. Quick question. Uh, no. This it's map has changing. trees on it. Those aren't there, are they? Yeah, ignore the trees. Oh, oh well. 
This is mis mismatched maps, so... I like how Biafi just came out of the box perfectly sized. So, as you can see, that easy. you have found yourself in a very large cave. Large in height, mostly. Um, in the room, you see what appear to be two demonic statues holding pitchforks with glowing red eyes here and here. As well as what appear to be two stone gargoyles, not of the quarrel variety, but of more the D&D &D variety here and here. A magical circle, which appears to have been at least partially damaged, which holds your companion, who is currently drooling on himself, as well as a, uh, a large coffin, which, guessing by the, uh, the stake that is still attached to the lid, is very much how they were planning to execute him. The uh, guillotine-like blade that's nearby implies that he has broken a piece of it off. And of course, there is this small sort of amphitheater here with a very large skeleton chained in place. A skeleton? Skeleton. Chained in place. Oh. <laughs> uh, I guess we should uh, go deal with that. Uh, I can see if this right. is, if there's any, we have to this place, just in case. I'm what was that? would have been thorough. What was that, Biafi? Does anyone have the ability to see if there's any magic or any weird types of magic in each lap of some sort? Uh, I, I do. Uh, I'll take a minute. I can do it, but it'll take a second. I would like to cast Detect Magic. Yeah, I can only cast that as a ritual. Oh. No, 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 no. Alright, so I believe the magic spell type would be Abjuration was at one point active. You can you can still see the wisps of smoke, like smoky almost, like as it is leaving the broken circle. On the round, the outside I believe is enchantment, if I remember correctly, for um, protection from good and evil. That's or something like that. Too, actually. Is it abjuration? Pretty sure. All the protection spells are generally abjuration. Yeah, yeah. I think they are. Oh, well, it's all abjuration. Okay. Well. All abjuration all the time. Huh. Anything else in the room? Well, I mean, Hold on. I, actually, I think I got that spell. wrong. I think... No, the wall of force was broken. Yeah, okay. The wall of force was broken... But the uh, the remaining spell circle is what is keeping him in, and um, trying to force him out is not going to help much. Hmm. Besides that wall there, nothing else. Nothing else at all. No. Okay. I can't. Um, I guess we actually. I will. Uh, I will clarify because I was just talking about the circle. The two big statues in the back are also. They have, um, I think it's Conjuration. It's either Conjuration or Necromancy. Please. Well, that's unpleasant. All right. Well, let's, let's get to work. Do we well, have it might be in our souls? Actually, I think it would be enchantment. Or like an animate object spell would be enchantment. So, my bad. Is the spell still active, Nameless? For which one? The ring here. The ring? Yes, the spell is currently active. God. Does the tech magic tell me how powerful the spell is? It's a magical circle, I think. It also, is... Also, animate objects is transmutation. Oh, it's transmutation. Fun fact. Fun fact. We don't need resurrection, do we? Uh -huh. 
We won't need it, right? There's no absolute, there's no scenario. I'm pretty Apple sure that type of magic doesn't design. work on the undead. It's okay. Uh, I'd like so, to, uh, just in the case sure. of a lich or a vampire dying, if you resurrect them, you will technically cure them if the lich does not have a phylactery already and their their souls are willing to come back. If the lich still has a phylactery, you will not be able to cast resurrection on it. And a vampire, if you kill it and then resurrect it, will flat out just bring them back as the person they were before they were a vampire. You know, just to All make right. sure that spell dies, uh... <clears throat> Seventh level dispel magic. Okay. So, fourth. Not eighth level. Is it a? I don't have an eighth level spell. <laughs> so so you're, class you're, 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 you're level seventeen. Do you not have fifteen levels in bar? Well, I. No, okay. I have fourteen. So, he's multiclassed. If I remember correctly, the DC is. Equal to so yeah. Oh. Then plus the spell if it's yeah. But if it's a higher level than fourth spell slot, basically it's just if I meet the spell slot that or the spell level that it's at, it dispels. If I don't, well then it doesn't. I mean, there's a there's a role for it. Yeah, that's what I'm. There is still well, a I'm role. I'm just reading yeah. the at a higher level. Yeah, section. the role. Yeah, the role is if it's higher than seventh at this point. Yeah. Yeah. But if oh. the spell is less oh, than okay. seventh, then there's no spell roll. Bro, ninth level. Let's go. <laughs> Isn't Wall of Force immune to dispel magic? Wall of Force was already destroyed. Okay. Yeah, it was just there. Good and evil, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to rule that that just uh, that just kaputs the uh, wall, or the uh, the spell of good and evil. Because remember, he's not a spellcaster yet, or at all, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna regret refreeing him, ain't I? Maybe. All right. So the wall's down. The wall, wall is down. down. Well, is the circle uh... still there? Well, the circle can't move. So, <laughs> the circle is made of metal that has been etched into the ground. If you remember me describing it to Wind. Um, yes. You do hear. Happy. A voice boom out from both statues as it asks you for the password. Uh, <clears throat> I got this, guys. The night will last forever. There is a moment of silence before there is a second question. Who is she who shall not be named? Celestia. So you idiot, you weren't supposed to name it. <laughs> yes, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I went for it. <laughs> the uh, both statues stand up simultaneously. We're just gonna use this to represent. This. Ooh, it, it came out big for me. Yeah. Listen, for all I know, it's going to be like Daybreaker or something was the correct answer, and I'm going to be smashing my head into a desk. Actually, it was way <laughs> simpler than you think. But yeah. you didn't necessarily have all the answers. Did uh, I get the first one right, at least? You did get the first one right. That's why there was a second question. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> I was <laughs> guessing. There was going to be three questions. Can I know what the third one was? <laughs> Uh, I was gonna for answer the first one randomly and say filibuster. <laughs> the filibuster. <laughs> the, uh, the third one was going to be who is our greatest enemy. Mm. Which, uh, you got the answer right for that one. Yeah. She who I should know. not be named? What the. What is it, Princess yeah, Luna? <laughs> funny thing, you should, funny you should mention that. So. Yeah. <laughs> like, this has no grid, but uh, you know, 
You guys get a chance to do something first. Alright, so we're brawling? Okay, go uh, <sighs> Well... I tell awesome. the stupid poo brain to run, run back the way we came. He's, he's out cold, my friend. Excuse me. Running. Melrose? You might want to move. It's uh, time for Ray Ray to do damage. These creatures aren't alive. <laughs> hey, they are uh, constructs made of stone. Exactly. Not living, so it's not... Pacifist. <laughs> the rocks can't feel. The rocks cannot feel pain. Uh, the rightmost one? I think I'm... Yeah, fuck it. Uh, I'm... Hold up, I'm thinking here. Well, while you think, we're gonna go over to the other group, who is, uh, it's looking like they're about to fight Coral. Mm -hmm. So, th that'll give you some time to come up with plans. I would recommend talking to each other in DMs a bit. Okay. Kindle's eyes are kind of lit up, and she's, like, looking at Coral, it's just like, I really don't want to fight you, but whatever that huh? thing is, it's doing something to you. Coral, they're trying to steal it from you. They want the crown. <laughs> Held action hey. pieces for if hands start flying. Hey, hey, hey! I don't know what the heck you're talking about. It's mine. It's not doing anything weird. Although my back is itchy, but that's probably the ghosts. I just gotta watch out about that one. I'm not saying you have to give it up. I'm just saying maybe you should take it off. Coral, he's lying. He's lying. Ah. Uh... Oh, come on! Why do I need to do that? Coral, well, make a, a perception check. <laughs> perception, perception. I feel like this. Watch me get a fucking that one. Perception. Where are you? Perception, where did you go? Oh no, it's just not loading. Hold on. By the way, you still have Eyebrider, right, Kindle? Uh, I have which? Eyebrider, the sword? Yeah. Yeah, I do. To quarrel. That sword? That should be yours. That's not that's not his. That's yours. That belongs to you now. And he's he's got it, but that definitely means he should hand it over or you rip his spine out. What about me not wearing stuff? At least I have my own stuff. You 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 have my other stuff with you, give it. Kendall give it. kind of cocks his head and kind of takes a single step back and is just like what do I have of yours? I point out I bite her. That was mine! I look at the, the sword. The second crown is mine. That's mine too. It's a matching set. <laughs> I need uh, my wizard to roll an a Arcana mm -hmm. and a history. Oh, a history! Oh, making me look at my sheet. I think he oh, made the Arcana. Yes. Uh, I'm sure I did. I can't don't actually know what the number it. is. Are you proficient? Where's history? Uh, <laughs> panic! There panic. it is. <laughs> panic! Fear! So nice. Okay. That says thirty-one. 32 and 31. 32 and 32 and 31. So, you remember that uh, you had stumbled on a book a long time ago that uh, talked about other places, and you've heard of an item like this. In fact, this may be one of the only items like, of its kind. It's known as the Crown of Greed. And uh, things are about to get really ugly really quickly. Because no matter what you give her, she's going to want more of it. And eventually, that's going to end up with the, the two of you dead if you let it go on forever. Yeah. 
Not to mention that eventually <laughs> she will be fully transformed into a full on devil. Mm hmm. Well, 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 well. Devils well. dissipate her. <laughs> it is, an, in fact, an infernal item that is considered contractual in nature, but the contract is kind of an inferred one by if you pick it up and put it on, whether coerced or not, doesn't matter. If you pick it up and put it on, you have signed the contract. Do I happen to know the details of that contract? Nope. Your book did not go in that much of a detail about it, other than warning you that you should definitely never wear it. But if you do yeah. find it, it does belong to the author. <laughs> Sure, it does. <laughs> kind of looking up at Coral, let's just say. And who said this was yours? It's part of the set. It's supposed to be mine. Are you sure about that? Kendall, roll a sanity check for me at disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna go well. That's not the thing. Sanity at disadvantage. Uh, check or save? save? Go with save. At disadvantage. Nope. It, yeah. <laughs> you get this sudden irked feeling that uh, not only is she trying to steal it from you, but it'll hurt a lot if it steals, she steals it from you. It's yours. It belongs to you. Nothing should be able to take it from you. In fact, if something does, you should definitely run it through with the sword. As far as you are aware, these are all your thoughts, by the way. Right. Thinking. I have a feeling some of the D&D &D nerds here are like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've been, I've been concerned already for a while. Yeah, this may or may not be worse than me thinking it was going to be a crown of madness. <laughs> I think this is much worse than just a crown of madness. Mm. Give it to me! You start seeing more of the... Flame, the flaming wisps of the Neric that hasn't quite blown out yet. I highly suggest you back up. You're the one with my stuff! No. This is mine. Mm -hmm. well, Phoenix! I am, I'm also okay. going to... Look at uh, and tell on you. I'm going to tell you that uh, you are now immune to fire damage. Okay. Just in general? Coral is. Oh. Um, I fly to Phoenix. Coral, Phoenix, are you look you're the smart one. Phoenix has stuff that belongs to you, too. <laughs> oh my god, all of the stuff Phoenix has is yours. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix, you are in great danger right now. Mm-hmm. I think it's time. I will telekinesis that crown. Why, is it yours? <laughs> Phoenix, roll a constitution saving throw. You take that and very abrupt fire damage. Mm. And uh, Coral, you are fully aware of what Phoenix just tried to do. You are also thrown yeah. against the wall. I but see the fire see. damage go out and I immediately rage. And put myself in between the two. This is my stuff! Why is everyone taking my stuff? Coral, when did it become sudden, yours? 
you get this sudden impression that you can uh, you can tell um, Kindle to take on uh, Phoenix. And then, you know, kill two birds with one stone. Kindle, stop. Get Phoenix. No, a wisdom saving throw for Me? Kindle. Yep. Okay, wisdom saving throw. And y'all thought this would be easy. <laughs> okay, come on. I hit the button. Here, let me reload roll 20. It's not doing it. I also need to re reload roll 20, I notice now, because all of you have disappeared off of the list of players playing. <laughs> uh, that's funny, because you were the only one who did. Uh, somebody oh. send a long spell so that uh, we don't have... Oh! This entire time, roll 20 thought I was on a different map than I actually was. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell is Volt 20 on? And some some incredible drugs apparently. Where is, is this? I at least like what they've done with the measurement tool. Oh, I noticed that you also still moved where I moved you to. Yeah. All right. Let's see. If this works this time. At advantage, disadvantage, did you say? Just normal? Just normal. Just a wisdom saving throw. While you are able to shake the command, you get the distinct impression it won't be that easy this the next time it happens. Coral, you you will take It'll take you 10 rounds of combat in order to be able to use the command again. Okay. It's like, I kind of shake the command off. Coral, this isn't you. Yep. Make a sanity save for me, uh, Cold. Uh, da -da -da -da. This time at disadvantage. <laughs> you mean again at disadvantage? I don't remember. Was the last one on disadvantage? I... Yes, it was. Oh, well, again on disadvantage then. Alright. I can't keep closing my sheet. doesn't like it when I do that. And don't do that. How dare you? You just, just shrink it down. Yeah, I forget I can do that. Let's see. Sanity at disadvantage. It could be worse. So, you get two thoughts in your head. One, you're really close. This is the perfect time to strike. And two, if you beat her, you can take the crown. Both of them, you think, are your own thoughts. It's like I still don't want to, but you're trying me, Coral. Just give me my stuff and this wouldn't be an issue. I want to prepare a spell. In case any of them try another shit on me. Okay, what are you preparing? Destructive wave. When you cast it, it will be as if you cast it at ninth level. Oh fuck! Without using a ninth level slot, I should say. Just and give with me my things. 
Pearl is starting to fly in place. But, uh... She's very much pissed off. Her tail is wagging. What happened to your tail? Last time I checked, it wasn't there. What? She had half a tail. Tail. She had a nubby. <laughs> she had a tail. It was just nubby. Right. Your tail was nubby. Your tail is no longer nubby. Care to explain? Coral, as far as you're concerned, that's what it's always looked like. That's what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to be like this. I'm a gargoyle. But of course, you wouldn't know that. You don't even know me. You're right. Mm. I don't. But what little I do know is this is not you. You were kind. You were bubbly. You weren't this greedy. What happened to that kind little girl? I give a fuck. Everything has been going wrong. You guys want to freaking help out one of our enemies? You guys want to do all this stupid shit? Oh, suddenly you guys want to stick together as a fucking group when every time I say so, everyone says no. I'm tired of this shit. And I want my stuff back now. I was never a part of the group. I never made you make those choices. I never made any of those choices. So you can at least listen to me. This is not you. So, I am actually going to uh, put a pin in this. Because uh, we, we've been going for over three hours now. And, uh, you know, cliffhangers are fun. And maybe we'll have <laughs> win next time. Because uh, the resolution of this could be very messy. Yes. I expect it to be very messy. Because uh, if, we, if we get into it right now, we may end up with, uh, with a <laughs> combat round that ends... The, or combat section that ends three hours from now. And uh, <laughs> yeah. let's, not, let's not do that at the, the end of the session for the night. For those of you that may or may not still be watching, if you enjoyed that would like to see more of it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell, follow on Twitch, all that good stuff. If you want to show further support to the channel, then check out all the links, including the Discord, which you can join for free, where you'll be able to chat with all of the uh, community and the players, some of the people that have been on the podcast, and myself. Um, there's also the Patreon, link to that as well in the description. And if you subscribe at the five dollar tier you'll have access to sit in on all of the podcasts that i run that includes an alicorn discusses and as well as the uh creator roundup a big thank you to my priest tier patrons cameo shadowness ice crystal trailblazer and skarmax other than that everybody Hydrate. we will see you again at the end of the week friday for the next Alicorn Discusses. And everybody have a great evening and drink water. Great to die, drink. Peace out. Not everyone. <laughs>